LeBron, you had talked after last game about sustaining effort and energy throughout the whole game. Uh, I think you ended up with 18 attempts in the paint. A bunch of them came in the second half, some key in that start of that fourth quarter. Was that any direct effort from you, aside from just reading the defense like you typically would? Um, I mean, obviously, um, you know, like we, we've just been talking, like we have to sustain our effort, we have to sustain our energy. And I thought the third quarter was very important. You know, we've had a lead in a lot of these games, and then the second half, they've jumped on us. And, and even though, you know, they outscored us by two, um, we, we, we score with them, you know, to keep the lead um, at 11. We was up 13 and a half, and scored us by two in the third, but we was able to put up 30. So that, you know, that definitely helped us going into the fourth. And then the fourth for me is just my mindset to try to close it out, you know, make plays, make winning plays, and uh, I was able to make a few. LeBron, because you are such a student of the game, what did you and your teammates learn from tonight that will help you in the next contest? Well, they're going to make adjustments. They're a great team. They're great, you know, super uh, well coached. So, you know, we have to be able to counter their attack, but also come in with the same mindset that we have to sustain our effort. We have to sustain our energy. Um, you know, however we're able to do that, um, keep attacking, um, you know, and, you know, try to keep them, you know, you know, and things that we can control, like fast break points. We only gave up 12 tonight to them. Uh, we only gave up uh, five second chance points, you know, and, and also at the same time, we only gave up nine offensive rebounds. So we knew we had to rebound, and obviously AD was killer on the glass today with 23, and then everybody else just tried to chip in. So um, it was key for us to rebound. We, we all rebounded them, I think, maybe, I don't know, in the first three games, but I know for sure we got all rebound in the game three. We was able to all rebound tonight, and that really helped. LeBron, as close as this series has been, obviously it's 3-1, and there, there probably could be a natural human tendency to look back and, oh, I wish it was 2-2 or, or, or something like that. But you guys as a group have been trying to climb out of, you know, you were 13th in the West in January, trying to make the play-in tournament, try to make the playoffs. Will that serve you in this situation as a group? Like, it, you could look at it like an opportunity versus look at it like what could have been? Well, the only opportunity for us is just to play the next game, and we've given ourselves another life. We give ourselves another lifeline, and it's a one-game series for us. You know, so um, you know, uh, Monday's game—I believe it's Monday. Yeah, Monday's game is the most important game of the season for us, and, and we understand that, and we know that. So, uh, you know, what's at stake? You know, if you lose, you, you're done. If you win, you keep going. So, uh, it's not much to talk about. Le LeBron, what did you make of the work AD did on the glass tonight, and? Just sort of, if you could kind of like put into words what that battle has been like this series for him. Um, I think, um, you know, what AD did for us on the glass tonight, when we were able to get them to miss, um, they're very good at their offensive rebounding game. Um, and for AD to, um, <clears throat> you know, clean glass 20 on the defensive end is just, uh, it's just key for our offense. It's just key for, our, uh, for a lot of things that we want to do. And I think, um, you know, AD doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. He's one of the, one of the best bigs that we have in the game, one of the best bigs in the world. And he's he's shown that again, you know, through the first four games. LeBron, uh, <clears throat> what can snapping the 11 game streak do for you guys just from a mental perspective of felt like every time you guys were getting a close game with them, they would find a way to pull it out this time. It's, it's the opposite. Like, I, I guess what can getting through that do, if anything? Um. I don't know. I mean, we, we won this game, and that, that was most important. But now we've we got to start focusing on our next one. So, you know, it's not like, you know, um, you know, we, we lose the next one, and then it'd be 12 and 1 in the last 13 games. So, you know, we want to try to, you know, make that not happen. You know, we want to continue to try to play good basketball and focus on, you know, our next task. And our next task is, like I said, is Monday's game, and let's see what happens. Jamal Murray's hit some big down, shots down stretches of games, but you guys have largely um, held him in check, and he's been inefficient with the shooting. What have you liked about your guys' defense on him, keen in on him? I mean, he's a great player. He's going to make shots. He's going to make tough shots. He's going to make big shots. That's what he's done in this league for a long time. So, uh, you know, we just try to key in on our tendencies, key in on our game plan, and uh, just try to be um, as efficient as we can. We're just trying to keep a body on him, and when he raised, we try to raise and not put him to the free throw line, you know, and I uh, thought we were pretty good. I think all the guys that got an opportunity to match up with him tonight just did a really good job of just not um, giving him too many angles, um, but also just contesting a lot of his shots. Last question. Thank you. Go ahead. Last question. Oh, okay. 
Knowing the emphasis and urgency you guys have placed on the third quarter, at this point, do you guys talk about that at halftime, or is it something everyone kind of comes into the second half carrying? Yeah, I mean, it, it's both. I mean, we know. We talked about it. Uh, we've been talking about it. It's been something that's been an Achilles heel for us all season, uh, coming into the third quarter with some energy, understanding that teams want to try to make that run when the starters, uh, the second quarter happens. So uh, we talked about it again tonight, and we was able to fix it. You know, and. Um, you know, and it's, it goes more than just talking about you guys. You got to go out there and be about it as well. And I thought we did that, you know, so um, it, it was very key to us getting this win tonight that we was able to, you know, um, you know, stay a good pace with them, you know, throughout the third quarter. And like I said, even though they scored 32, we scored 30. We was able to still, you know, maintain that energy going into the fourth. Um, um, it, was, it was an even score. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.